Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube and Matter Support has just come to the SwitchBot Hub too. This allows you to easily view the metrics from that temperature and humidity sensor in your Apple Home app or in your Google Home app. In addition to that, the SwitchBot blinds and SwitchBot curtains are now also Matter compatible, offering you the ability to control them in something like your Apple Home app. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of getting Matter Support set up and then I'm going to show you how to see those devices in your Apple Home app. So let's do that now. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that the SwitchBot app on your smartphone is updated. And then you want to go into the SwitchBot app and click into your Hub 2. If you then go into settings, you should see an option that says Matter Configuration. If there's not, it probably means there's a firmware update that needs doing and you'll be automatically pushed to do this. Once that's done, the next thing you need to do is reset your Hub 2. This is done by holding down the two buttons on the front of the device for 15 seconds until you hear a beep and the screen goes off very quickly and comes back on again. Next, you want to go back to the SwitchBot app, go into your Hub 2 and then hit the Matter Configuration button. You'll then see a lit up QR code with some numbers under it and you're gonna to want to copy that code. Next, you want to go into your Apple Home app, click the plus at the top and choose Add Accessory. Then click More Options and then you should see your Hub 2. You'll then be prompted to add that setup code we just copied. And you'll then be taken through all the normal steps in the Apple Home app for adding a device. So you can add the bridge into the location where it belongs and you can name it as well. So I'm going to name mine because all of the stuff in my house is named after lost Dharma stations. You'll then also be prompted to add the extra accessories that are part of the Hub 2. So by default, this is a humidity sensor and a temperature sensor. These then appear in your home app. The next thing you want to do is go back to the SwitchBot app and back into Matter Configuration. You'll then now see a secondary devices tab at the bottom of that screen where you can add in your blinds and your curtains. Once you've selected those devices you want to add back in, they will then appear in your Apple Home app under your default room. Now these by default appear as matter accessories, so you might need to play around with them individually so you can work out which is which, and you can then rename them and assign them to the appropriate rooms. From then on, you've got your SwitchBot curtains and your SwitchBot blinds in your Apple Home app. And that is how you do it. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you've got any questions, do stick them below and I will answer those. I've put links below to my review of the Hub 2 and also a purchase link for it as well, including a 10% off voucher for the SwitchBot website. Please give this video a like, consider subscribing to my channel, and I will see you guys again soon.